Hey everybody! I'm here today to tell you to always look for these spaces in a parking lot. I'm going to be going over the absolute ideal parking spot that you can find in a parking lot. Alright, let's get right into the video. I'm actually going to drive over there to sort of like where the entrance way to the parking lot is. Okay, so right now it's a, it's an empty parking lot. There are all these cars parked here, but I personally know that all these people are at work. I won't go into detail about how I know, but I definitely know that they are all at work. They're parked here for the whole day. All right, so basically let's say you're in a parking lot and I apologize about the poor lighting. I'm doing my best to avoid the sun glaring into the lens. Let's say you're in a parking lot. The parking spot that you wanna look for is a few things. Number one, it's far away from the entrance way of the actual store or mall or building. So right here, there's like the entrance way. Well, the entrance way is at the front, but people enter and exit through there. There are all those spots there. There are all these spots here, which are sort of the closest ones, but you want the furthest ones away but these ones are the furthest ones away, but they don't have the second qualification, which is you are able to drive through the parking spot. So I'm gonna drive up over here, okay? Now, if you take a look at these spots over here, you can see that there's a spot right here and there's also a spot on the other side. And if you find a good spot, I'm gonna choose the one beside the light post. I'm gonna park in that spot right over there. So if you find the right spot, you are able to drive through one of the spots and then drive into the next spot. So I've now parked the car just like that. It's a very simple thing that you can do. Now there are a few quick tips that I should tell you. My wife actually calls these drive through parking spots. I don't know if that's really what people call them, but you know, she that's what that's what she was told to call them, drive through spots. And I think that's a pretty good idea to be honest with you. It, it makes sense. Now a few things. Number 1, you want to make sure that no one is actually driving in the other direction. So for instance, I'm going to back up like I said, there's no one around. I'm looking all around, obviously, but there's no one around. And uh, there's, you know, there's, there's no, they're all at work. So let's say, and all these cars are parked here. They're not moving anywhere. I'm going to put the car in drive. Let's say I'm driving through this spot and I want to go into that spot, right? But as I'm going into that spot, I see that someone is turning in this way. They have the right to that spot. Just because I'm like, oh, I'm here first. No, I'm doing something. I'm crossing over that line, okay? Now, I'm, I can't speak about the legalities of whether or not it's legal. I don't think that there's anything wrong with it as far as I know, other than the fact that they actually have the right to that spot if they're coming in from that laneway over there very simple so you always give them the right of way if they're coming in the the quote-unquote legitimate way you give them the right of way they get that spot and then if i was in that situation i would just park my car right here very simple okay also you want to make sure that it's a big open area i'm going to reverse again <clears throat> let's say Let's say that I'm driving into that spot and there's like cars here and cars here and I can't really see what's going on on the other side. Don't then don't choose that spot. Just park your car right over here, let's say. Or you know, go in here and then maybe just inch forward a little bit. But I'll tell you why you, you don't want to do that. Because let's say you inch forward and someone's coming in this way. <coughs> Sorry, someone's coming in this way. And you're like, oh, okay, I'll reverse. And you go to reverse, and all of a sudden, someone's coming in from behind you into the other spot. And you're stuck. And really, that's kind of your fault, because you're you're doing something. So that's why I say, like, do it in a situation like this. Like, if there's, like, you know, a few cars there, and you have this big open area, and you can see that there's no cars around here wanting to take that spot, then go ahead and drive through the spot. Now, I'll tell you why it's a great thing to do. You're driving forward into the spot, and then when you come back to the car, let's say, you know, I go to the mall, I get a nice coffee, I go do some shopping. I'm just kidding. I don't do that often. If I go to the mall, it's just to keep my kids busy for a couple hours, take them around, get a coffee for some energy. I don't really do any shopping. Anyways, you drive forward into the spot. You go do your thing. I'm a jig. You come out and look at this. You drive forward out of the spot. It's a beautiful thing. And that's, that's basically, those are the ideal spots. Like, let's say I wanted this one right here. No problem. No problem. Just like that. No problem. And obviously, like I said, you really want to make sure that you're doing this in a safe way by, uh, in a safe situation, by making sure that you're not interfering with anyone or anything like that. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. 
And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.